introduce the first uh, finalist. Max, over to you. Thank you, Matt. Hello, everyone. Is uh, everything I assume is sounding well? And uh, uh, it's honor, an honor to be here today. And uh, uh, my uh, uh, partner in uh, this presentation actually is on his way to Barcelona. But uh, if anybody has any interest in, um, in, our, in our case study, uh, will be available on Thursday as well uh, as part of the ICOM uh, pres uh, presentation program. And uh, we're going to go deeper in a conversation with uh, Soren on Thursday. Um, but our case study is about uh, how we can use attention AI uh, to predict video performance uh, across many markets, across many brands, and drive real hard business outcomes, including 18% incremental sales left. So with that, we can get started. And um, I think I'm supposed to see a counter and I guess that'll come up when the presentation uh, advances. Okay. Um, all right, so what do you need to know? Um, first, we believe this is a, a, a transformational uh, leap in smart data marketing. And if there's three things you take away, uh, these are the three things you should remember. Uh, number one is that, uh, uh, Realize and Mars uh, collaborated together to create ACE, the Agile Creative Expertise. And uh, it's an attentional and emotional response tool for understanding video, uh, digital video ads. And we use uh, AI facial coding to measure how long participants watch a video and how their attention changes over time as they watch them. And the bottom line um, that really matters is that uh, the system, which scale drove 18% 18, 18 incremental sales, across 19 markets, 30 million in ad optimization uh, savings uh, in 18 months. Um, so a, a, a significant systematic scale. So let's go into what this is all about. Next. So what is the challenge? Uh, the, the core challenge around we, we rallied around was that there's weak signals for optimization. Results data are slow. Um, and uh, that matters. I mean, sales, sales is the core metric that everyone cares about. And um, Panel data are high, and and sales often come in uh, data weeks or months later, and are and are not granular enough for campaign optimization, especially in digital. Another big challenge is that self-reported consumer data do not equal sales. Um, that those data are very important for lots of reasons, but they're really really challenging um, when you're 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 trying to optimize to sales because they um, often don't correlate with sales. And then finally, in a global pandemic, it's more challenging to attain uh, insights about consumers at a global scale um, in such a granular fashion. So those are the big, uh, the big thematic challenges. Next. Okay, so when we when this partnership started about five years ago, uh, we, we aligned around three key objectives. One, we needed a, a prediction model uh, to be able to predict sales while also learning about how consumers think. Secondly, we needed an optimization tool that was really pragmatic and would enable better creative selection, better creative editing, and smarter media bidding uh, strategies. And then finally, it needed to scale. So a real systematic solution that could go across all brands, all markets. You could teach it to a CMO who doesn't know anything about media, and there's not, or, uh, or, or just really anybody, but it's a simple, scalable solution and a goal of 1,000 um, ads uh, tested and optimized in, in uh, first year. Next. Okay, so this is the this is how uh, how Mars often thinks about building brands. Uh, first, you have to earn, capture, or earn and keep attention. Then you have to drive an emotional response. Uh, then you need to leave uh, an imprint. You need to encode the brain, um, which uh, that memory encoding leads to uh, uh, those future business outcomes in in in, in sales. And so, um, um, aligning around this model, we then led to the, uh, the 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 solution that we came up with. Next, please. So the ACE solution, ACE uh, Agile Creative Excellence. So the way it works is uh, we have a panel test. Um, uh, typically, uh, way under 24 hours, 150 to 500 viewers participate in a um, where we just observe people watching video. We perform attention measurement uh, using AI and attention AI and facial coding, and then we take those raw scores and turn them into 
uh, analytics. And in Mars's case, there's a um, uh, an actual uh, there's their own proprietary algorithm which uh, incorporates a, a variety of data. Um, the facial coding is at the core, but it results in very simple, easy, scalable um, uh, scores for selection, editing, media media optimization strategies for for any brand. Um, and if you uh, if we can advance again, a short movie should play, um, please. Okay, and if you've not seen it before, the way it works is we have a little algorithm that sits on any mobile or device, uh, tablet or phone, and we just tell people to watch video. And we uh, have trained uh, uh, the AI how to perform facial coding, otherwise done by a, a psychologist uh, or a trained specialist. And uh, from that, we 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 derive the capture, retain, and encode scores, and then this feeds into the into the uh, core reporting. Next, please. So a couple examples uh, with extra gum, um, converting TV content into effective digital content. So a two minute video getting cut down into 15 and six seconds for becoming the uh, top 10% performer of all time. Uh, Shiba Cat Food uh, used to select and edit. Um, so Band-Aid Creative um, got, got shortlisted uh, out of, out of a, a lar much larger portfolio. And uh, this was attributed to an 18% sales list in this, in this one example. Um, next, please. So what was the impact? Um, number one, validated predictions. And uh, so we, 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 we proved this. And uh, this was done through linking creative attention of data to 4,000 sales and add data points and benchmarks uh, by Mars Econometric Group. Uh, so number two, uh, performance optimizations. So we enabled real tools to make changes on, uh, on, on uh, campaigns that happen on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and again, resulting in 18% cumulative sales lift, 30 million in ads optimizations. And then finally, a truly systematic global scale. Over 1,000 ads scored in less than 22 months across 19 markets, 30 plus brands, five categories, and during a pandemic. And by the way, this stuff is really fast. Next, please. So also notable, uh, we believe we've arrived today at the world's largest, single largest database of attentional and emotional response data correlated with predictable links to sales. Second, we established IP. Uh, so realize uh, as, part of, as, as part of this uh, project was uh, awarded a US patent in a year ago. Uh, for our method of video impression analysis, um, basically using um, AI to, uh, to understand and predict uh, attention on digital video. And then finally, uh, it's become a best practice within Mars, now sanctioned and encouraged uh, from the CEO down across all the brand teams. And then Mars even hopes to scale this uh, and, and offer this as a solution to other uh, partners as well outside of Mars. Next, please. So what's next? Just what's next? Um, moving from uh, pre-flight to in-flight measurement. Uh, we'll be moving from content optimization to attentional media quality metrics, and then evolving also from video into static measurements. And the result of this is attentive reach. And uh, that, is, that is what we believe the future is. And, and I want to thank you for your kind attention.